Hello, Ralph Develo back for the Carmine Caruso series of trumpet lessons. Today we're going to talk about triple tonguing. So <clears throat> we did uh, we did some single tonguing and we went over the six notes in the first lesson. So the, the triple tonguing is based off the six notes. That was the system of teaching you double tonguing and triple tonguing. So today let's talk about the triple tonguing based off the six notes. Let me show you what we're going to do. So today we're going to be doing two different exercises for triple tonguing. Whether you're a beginner or advanced, this exercise I think you will like and it will help you no matter what level you're at. So um, if you remember the six notes, it was G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and C. If you remember the six notes, if not, you can go back to lesson one and review the six notes. So, um, but by now everybody should be familiar with the six notes. So we're going to do this exercise, and we're going to do an exercise out of Clark that he would uh, that he would use the Clark book. So just to explain how we're going to be doing this, this is his tongue in, and this and this is from the throat. So it's two, 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 and this is K, 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 K from the throat. So uh, hopefully you're a little bit familiar with triple tongue in. And so you'll be doing after we do the do the uh, quarter notes, then it'll be eight notes. Two, two, coo, coo, two, two, coo, coo, and repeat it. Now, when you run out of ear, you take your breath, breathe in through your nose, and take and take your breath and continue. Then the next set of, of the of the six notes is two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo, and then we repeat that. And then we go, and then we go, we go to full speed, which is All right. So then we do we rest a little bit, and then we do the G sharp, same thing we do, and we do the A, same routine, A sharp, B, and C, and you're done. And then we're gonna do the Clark book. So just let me show you the Clark book. So a Clark book, first study. It's a couple pages. I'll show you that one. You know, we'll play it together, and I'll show you that as we're playing it together. So first, let's do the six notes together. We'll do one or two of them, and then you'll get the idea. We don't have to go through all of them. You can do it on your own at your own pace. Now, it's nice to use a metronome with this. It's not easy with the metronome. You'd be surprised. It gets a little difficult. Uh, we're gonna set the metronome at 66. And we can work our way up to 88 eventually. Or if we have to go a little slower than 66, that's okay. But let's start at 66. That's plenty fast to get started with this exercise. So after you do the G, again you do the G sharp, the A, the A sharp, the B, the C. Um, now when you do these, same thing. If you can't do when you up the speed there, the two 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 two, then you just do up to the the single triplets, two 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 two, and then after you do that, you increase the uh, the speed of the metronome, and you're a little faster. If you're doing that 66, now you're gonna do it at 72. And after 72, again, you just increase it to the next notch and you just keep going as far, you know, until you can't do it any further. Now, if you can do the full speed on the bottom at, at the 66, that's fine. Do it that way. And then after a little time, you can even increase that speed a little bit. I'm going to give you a little tip. Uh, I don't like to tell you too many instructions when you do this because you start uh, thinking too much. You're not going to get a good practice in. But... Uh, 
one thing I do want to tell you, what happens is uh, if you start, wherever your, your tongue position is in the front, uh, you want to try to keep it there. Because when you when you do two two coup, when you do the coup, a lot of a lot of times what you do is you take your front of your tongue and you move that. So you want to keep your your front of your tongue in the same position. Otherwise, you start losing a lot of intonation and you lose the speed of of uh, what we're trying to work up to. Oh, uh, don't think about it too much, but it's something to have in the back of your mind. So now, when you do those. Uh, Try to keep the, uh, you know, that metronome in your head. So if you have a metronome, use it. If not, try to keep it in your head. Or you can do both, combination. And uh, just try to stay with it. Uh, it's not easy. But uh, the more practice you do, the better you get at it. I haven't done it for a while. And I thought I'd be better at it than I am right now, actually. So uh, I'll, do, I'll do a little practice on this myself at this point. So next, I'd like to show you the, uh, the, uh, the the exercise that goes with this that Carmine used to you know used to subscribe. Uh, one in the Clark book, study number one. Let me show it to you now. This is the first study in the Clark book. Uh, we're we're going to divide this up into triple tongue in one two three one two three one two three one two three two two ku two two ku two two ku two two ku. So. Um, <clears throat> It starts on low F sharp, but I would like you to actually start on the G, which is right, which is right here. Okay, same as the six notes. You start on like the six notes, and when practicing, you can do it a couple different ways. You can do the G, and then you can do the G sharp. But I also want you to work back down, you know, to the low F sharp. It gets very difficult down, actually, when you start getting down below the C. So uh, some people can do it better than others, but definitely do it because you can only get better at it. So I would do G, G sharp, you know, A, B, C. Then I would, you know, work backwards from the G, F sharp, F to the E, you know, all the way down to the next page, all the way down. So let's uh, do one together. And the way it's going to work is going to be two two ku two two ku two two ku two two ku. We're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to do it on sixty six. So we're going to do it slow. We're going to do triplets. Where's the G at? Right here. We're going to do two two ku 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 two. We're going to do that, and then we're going to double it up. Do 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 do. All right. So let's uh let's do one together to get the feel. Let's do number 14, starting on the J. As you can tell, when you're doing it on 66, it takes quite a bit of discipline not to go faster than the 66 to stay with the beat. So make sure you do it on 66. Just don't jump ahead faster right away. Try to get that uh, that feel and that time in your head first before you go any faster. Oh yes, and let me just uh, tell you one other thing. It's okay to get to get the uh, tempo and and the uh, feel of this exercise in your head by just learning it first. For example. is that when you're doing it slower like this it's actually harder to get it up to full speed but you need to practice it slower first of course uh, so let me give you an example of um, you know m maybe doing it a little faster and of course it's going to be up to you you know to progress at your own pace let's take it up a little faster I don't have my glasses on. I think I have it up to 80 
take it up a little faster again. So you get the uh, the point on that. So after the G, do the G sharp, and the A. You can keep it, you know, right in the range of the six notes if you want, uh, up to the C. And it's, if you're doing okay with that, I continue to exercise all the way to the end, then all the way back down to the uh, low F sharp. So those two exercises will do a lot for you in uh, conquering those uh, those triplets. So. Uh, Hope you enjoyed that uh, Carmen Crusoe lesson on triplets, and uh, we'll do in the future uh, his lessons on double tonguing. So thanks for listening again, and I will see you soon. Thank you. This is Ralph Devello from Trumpet Entertainment. See you soon.